Hello. Um, there's a whole bunch of people joining. And they're in a waiting room that I don't know who they are. <laughs> you got cord in there. That's my huh? assistant, Mike Crummel. Oh, is that Mike? Yeah. He's okay. A coordinator. That's why he's cord. <laughs> okay. Do I let him join then? Yeah. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to, I guess, if you don't like him. No, I just didn't Mike, know. She doesn't really like you. Up. She doesn't okay. really want you to join us. I can, I can exit. <laughs> um, Picture, yeah, you don't have a different picture. Yeah, you'll have to change it because I can't um, can't do mark. Uh, yeah, we're not supposed to be marketing ourselves. Yeah, no broker marketing on. He's probably got a squirrel or something he can put up. <laughs> the squirrel? I don't know what he's got. He's always got goofy things all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, come on, Mike. Stop. Live going on Facebook. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, that one. And the logo on my shirt. Does that matter? Uh, you're probably okay. Oh, no. Hold on. You look pretty stiff there. I don't want to. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me try this again. Probably. Go back to Zoom. Um, more. Live on Facebook. Why is it saying it's trying to do it to me instead of to GMAR Connect? Um, uh, and then everybody's freaking texting me right now. Like they're all texting me like, like we're in the waiting room. In. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to let them in because they're going to be uh, texting. Yeah, yeah, just let everybody in. That's fine. Okay, there's Bethany. I'm not sure who Pete's iPhone is, so let me see who Pete is. <laughs> That's Pete uh, Pulido, one of my oh. agents. Okay, I'm going to need to move him out back into the waiting room because we only want people who are going to be part of the... Unless he's doing something specific. But... Oh, I thought everybody was supposed to be on. That That's probably my fault. Uh, I see what you're saying. This is all going to be Facebook Live, otherwise. Right. Yes. This okay, is going to be Facebook it. Live, and I'm and I'm trying to figure out how to go Here's live that. on Facebook for it to go, not on my personal page. Um, but it's only doing trying to let me do it on my personal page. That's not what I want. I've done this a million times, and I've never had this problem. Let me have them both we'll do it. Just give me a second, guys. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Can you do the Zoom? Because uh, get on the Zoom. Because there, it's trying to have me go to live to Facebook to my personal page. It's not giving me the option to do it to GMAR Connect. And it's never done that before. I've, ne I've never had that problem. Okay, thanks. Clarissa, you, you kind of look like Wilson today. <laughs> I don't know if she can hear you, Gladysa. I'm sorry? I said you, you, you look like Wilson. We could only see this. Uh, this oh, part. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just teasing you. Okie doke. So Umberto's going to join and he's going to have us go Facebook Live. I'm waiting for him to join. Bobby G. Mark Connect. And Lee, if um, if Ms. Dr. Gonzalez hasn't joined, we can always move on to some of the other reports until he does. Sure, then we can come back. Okay. Okay. I'm Okay. 
There's no Bethel. Okay. What up, Lee? Oh. Can you make me some host? Yes, let me do that. Let's see you're up early, David. <laughs> got got his latte going. He's good. Yeah, I'm good. No, yeah, I've been doing a lot more, um, a lot more little like remodels on on different houses, and so my guys show up like at seven thirty, picking up material tools, and then have our morning like safety meeting. Be like, don't break stuff, guys, please. <laughs> Costs me money. <laughs> Everybody got their coffee yet? <laughs> Dendia, Dendia. Water. What did I do, I but I didn't want to mess up the lipstick, so I have my straw with my water. <laughs> Smart. Oh, oh, come on, Sergio. Just in case, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it looks too early, Sergio. Yeah, Sergio, my birthday's coming up, Sergio, just so everybody, just so you know. And, and that's my favorite. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's a little it's a little early, Sergio. You could have waited another 23 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I have a Rachel joining. Anybody who Rachel? I, it's because I'm thinking one of them maybe Dr. Gonzalez, but Rachel a lawyer? You see, it's not letting me so, either. Can, can I check something? Yeah. Credits to Okay, hold on. Pencil. And this is the Facebook that you use for Jimmy? I mean, yeah, I mean I only yeah. It's not gonna, it's, that's the one I use. That's the one that's connected to- To Gmart. To yeah. Gmart Connect. See that one. Okay. Why did it, why is it doing it? I think it's Facebook has changed something, mm -hmm. honestly. That's the only thing that I can think of is that fa Facebook has changed something because it didn't give me the opportunity to choose like it normally does or to enter the information. Mm -hmm. Apple iOS. <laughs> um, yeah. They're blocking everything Facebook now. Choose what you It should no, be no. groups. Okay, hold on. Now it should be on your own timeline. This is new. It's never done this before. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We're sorry, guys. It really never has happened. See go, all the groups. I think it's supposed to be all Go see all groups. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to allow it to do this. Lee, in that sense of time, you want to wave formalities and jump Oh, in? my God, you are so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You just need to get done, so. Okay. Let's just skip the pledge and invocation and just jump okay. right into those. You're going so fast I can't see it. Sorry. It's okay. I can't it's it, it's up. Creating this is really Facebook changed so much in like a short span of time. There it is. Well okay. I didn't see it. I do like the way that they changed the algorithms though. They did a good job. I didn't realize it would change that part though. Okay, but no, it should, it's supposed to go to like the page. <laughs> <laughs> what um, in the world? Bethany, I love your earrings. Those are gorgeous. Oh I'm already giving them a hole. <laughs> they're one like the other old kind of college day earrings Which, for like super like, cheap, like $5 like, earrings, earrings at like wet seal yeah. at the mall. <laughs> Those are like the best. Yeah. <laughs> You don't, you're not signed in. You need to sign in. But thank you. Was because I go through the. Yeah, no, you're supposed to do it through the app. Okay. So hold on. We're already here. Just. Where's the meeting? That's it right there. It's already on it. Yeah. Okay. But I just want to go back to the actual. Oh, here it is. Okay. Is it still doing the same thing? Oh. Should. Oh, okay. There. 
type in if you want to connect. The moment you click the live button, we're live. It's just buffering. Just not live. Yes, it does. It's saying I don't have permission since it's. Hold on. Do I let these people in? Yeah, Norma. Let Norma in. Well, because well, I don't wait. know who the other two people are, but go ahead and let them in. Just let them in. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Uh, let me just tell every the people that are waiting or that just joined our the the event. We are trying our best to get this to work because it's generally usually um, we can just connect to our private page and it's not giving us permission today. Have, uh, Jake Berry's on the call. Have Jake Berry troubleshoot remotely. Jake. He's pretty good. Hold on, let me. Where's Facebook? Jake, you look so contemplated this morning. Oh, there you are. There he is. Good morning. Miss you, buddy. Miss you. Okay. Let me log into into this one. Oh my God. And then um, I can't remember my. Freaking... If, if not, let me get back in. Hold on. Okay, let me get try it. something. I just want to try something else. Because you, since you logged out, I have to actually log back yeah, in. Yeah. Hold on. Do you mm -hmm. want to do two years? Um. Yeah. Yeah. We've been troubleshooting so much, I need another cup of coffee. I don't have my password. I saw it and so I was like, well, hold on, give me a second. I think it's working. Hold on. Uh, Monica, there's kind of an emergency as well. On top of everything else that you're doing, uh, Mike just tells me that the top of the, is it GMAR Connect? Mm -hmm. On top of GMAR Connect, it says that the fishing tournament is canceled. Uh, and it's last year's notice, uh, so it needs. We need to kind of look at that quickly. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Hey, Lee, you know what the yes. cool thing is? What? Um, I checked the forecast, and it said it was going to rain, but it didn't clarify what kind of rain. What kind of rain? Yeah, it's raining right now. The, the, the wet kind, or what? Do you, what <laughs> is there a different kind than that? Issues, man. Connecting to Facebook, the fishing term being canceled. Jake Berry being shy, you know. Oh, he's contemplative. He's and that's locked. Oh, hold on. Uh, never. Okay, coffee refill. Uh, okay, I'm telling you. Let me just let me try that's the other one. Password. That's my try yours. <laughs> Go what up, Juan? Not you. I just. Oh wait, it was this one. And. All the old gang. Oh yeah. The o the OG movers and shakers are on the call. I know. <sighs> okay, I'm in, but now I need to change that. Okay, Umberto, how do I, um, okay. No, I don't want to continue as me, or do I? Review okay. information you provide. To continue. No, because that's what I did a second ago. Okay, so click cancel. Okay. No, I'm, are you sure? Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. Me. While you're doing that, I'm going to look at what's going on in GMAR Connect with. You can review what I. The business integration can publish video to your timeline on your behalf. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Public. These settings are like brand new. We've never had to do this before. Save. It's a new business integration is what I'm seeing. Yeah. One thing we could do is if this doesn't look like it's working, we could just go ahead and uh, as you started here, you've recorded it. You could probably cut off the stuff we didn't need and just run the meeting and then you could post it. Oh, That's an option. Okay. 
I think that's what we're gonna have to go. Can't try to In that case, then do you want to forego the, the invocation pledge or do you want to go ahead and run those? Let's just jump in. Let him try just one more time okay. and then we'll just move on. Yeah. Share to group. Or do it group and then we'll do yeah, do my back. Yeah. Okay, we need to probably go to the business page and yeah. change those, but let's just go move forward with going and we can just publish it later as, as Lee recommends because, yeah. What else we can't do at the moment? It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it that way right now. So uh, I'm admitting Dr. Gonzalez into the group. So let's just go ahead and get started with our meeting. Okay, well, very good. Um, obviously, we've had some technical difficulties, so uh, we'll forego uh, the, the beginning here. And uh, let me just introduce myself. I'm Lee Jinks, uh, president of Greater McAllen Association of Realtors. Um, and with me are a, an entire cadre of people. So I guess I shouldn't <laughs> mention everybody. We'll, we'll introduce you as, as uh, we come to you. Um, but uh, today we've got a great meeting. Uh, and I guess the first thing we'll do is introduce our affiliate. Uh, Bethany uh, Marin is uh, with Fidelity National, a home warranty company. And Bethany, thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, I just want to introduce you and, uh, and uh, turn the floor over to you for just a moment. Well, yes, I'm Bethany Marin. Thank you so much for having me. And I'll keep it short and sweet, but just a quick background on me is I moved to Texas in 2012 and got my real estate license. And in 2014, I had the opportunity to come work for Fidelity. And I had used Fidelity uh, for my clients and they always did a great job. And I made a comparison chart with all the home warranties I could think of, what they covered, how much they cost, and we cost the least and covered the most. So I thought if I'm going to sell a home warranty, I might as well pick the best one to sell. And here I am. Um, I live in Corpus Christi. I do work the Rio Grande Valley. I've just been doing that area for about the past two years. Um, but we, as a company, we've been in business for over 40 years. So uh, you guys likely give your clients home buying tips. So I'm going to give you some home warranty buying tips that you can pass along to your buyers. And the first thing to look for in a home warranty is make sure they have an A plus rating at the Better Business Bureau. So bbb.org is an unbiased site. Of course, you cannot pay to get a good rating. Fidelity National Home Warranty has an A plus rating. Uh, don't let your buyers just Google what's the best home warranty because they will get a bunch of companies that just pay to be advertised online and really are no good. <laughs> The next thing they need to look at when picking a home warranty is the limits or how much they pay out per item. So if you are in your office and a brochure is very thin, meaning that company does not publish their, their limitations or their fine print, then probably it's because the fine print is not too good. It's terrible. Uh, so our brochures are very thick. They're 14 pages long. And um, they tell everything that we cover um, on page 11, if you care that much, but we either meet or beat the maximum payouts that our competitors pay out. For instance, most home warranties pay a maximum of $2,500 to replace a fridge and we pay $5,000, so things like that. Uh, the third thing you definitely wanna look for in a home warranty is that they are a member of the National Home Service Contract Association. So just like you guys are members of NAR, the National Association of Realtors, holds you to higher standards than just if you were um, a non-NAR member. Same thing with those home warranty companies. And that organization actually has gone to those home warranties call centers and they know their operations. They know they have money to pay out. They monitor complaints, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the fourth thing is you wanna make sure that home warranty company has a lot of financial backing to pay out claims. If a home warranty company, this is my personal opinion, but if a home warranty company is just a home warranty company and they don't have their hands in other pots, they are not going to make any money. We are owned by Fidelity National Financial Inc., which is the largest holder of title companies in the United States. So uh, this is just a, a little branch off of that huge, larger Fortune 300 company. So we have a lot of financial pull we can pull from in the summertime when we're actually losing money fixing air conditioners, right? Um, and then the last thing to look for in a home warranty is a local representative. And by local, I just mean someone to call other than the 800 number. 
we get about 50,000 calls per month. Um, and I only hear maybe one or two a week of some, some hiccup that's happened with the claim, but you do wanna have that person for when that hiccup happens. Um, if something falls through the cracks or, or somebody's unhappy, you don't wanna have to call the 800 number. So that is what I'm for. And if you are listening still or, or watching this video later down the fact, uh, I'm going to give you my cell phone number. And if you text me your information, your name, your company, and that you've saved my phone number into your cell phone, then I will send you a $5 Starbucks gift card for doing so. So listen up carefully. My cell phone number is 361-500-5258. And I'll say that one more time, 361-500-5258. Text me your information and I will just, you know, save, tell me that you've saved your save my contact information, blah, I cannot get it all out today, into your phone and I'll send you a $5 Starbucks gift card for doing so because I believe, you know, I know when I was doing real estate, if I didn't have an inspector's phone number in my phone, then I probably wasn't going to use that inspector, right? So if you've got my information saved, you'll probably be more likely to do business with me. Um, so again, thank you so much for having me and you guys have a great meeting. Thank you, Bethany. That was great. We really appreciate you. Uh... Uh, sponsoring today's uh, meeting. Uh, our um, main speaker, our key, keynote speaker for today is uh, Dr. J.A. Gonzalez. He's superintendent of the McAllen Independent School District. And so let me do an introduction for him. Dr. J.A. Gonzalez became McAllen ISD superintendent in 2016, overseeing a district that's characterized as a district of champions with amazing standings, including state ranked uh, academic and finance programs, as well as nationally ranked high school, music program, health and PE program, and so much more. A veteran educator of 24 years, Dr. Gonzalez was named the superintendent of the year for the entire state of Texas this past October and was, uh, was then nominated by the state superintendent organization to represent Texas in the national competition. Dr. Gonzalez uh, has been at the helm as McAllen ISD um, earned the uh, state's highest rating, an A for two straight years. It has also earned the state's post-secondary readiness uh, distinction three years in a row. Um, and, and things just uh, kind of shifted on me. So give me just a second. Uh, where am I? Um, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm lost. So I'm just gonna stop there. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, a very um, prestigious, um, long list of accomplishments. Uh, Dr. Gonzalez, we're very happy to have you on with us. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm proud to be with you all this morning. And I know that uh, you all play a key role in the success of our community and it continuing to be a dynamic, vibrant community where and when you're dealing with people that uh, are helping you purchase a home or sell a home or rent a home, it's just a very special relationship that you all build with individuals. And it's, it's a situation where it's, it's a major commitment. So I know that in times when, where I've worked with realtors, it, they play just, it's, it's a different kind of relationship. So I do wanna thank you all for all that you do for our community and for going the extra mile for families and for doing everything that you do to make sure that it's a smooth transition to home ownership or, or selling a home and things of that sort. Or we come in as a school district and I've been with McAllen ISD for a long time. I've been with the district for 24 years now, 26 in education, but 24 with McAllen ISD. And one of the things that I've realized is that when people are selecting a school district, it's much like selecting a realtor or selecting a neighborhood. They, they wanna know where's my child gonna to go to school? And Bethany talked about things you should consider. And it's the, kind of the same thing with us, with, with families and things they should consider. And, and that's where we wanted a partnership with you all to make sure that when you're selling homes or renting homes or talking to families that, that you leverage us and you leverage our expertise and you leverage our successes so that you can have a higher probability of making the sale or putting, families in a position where they come back and say, thank you. Not only do I love my home, but I love my school district. And when, pe when people are looking for school districts, they, they need to look at a number of things. Number one, they, they need to look from an accountability standpoint, where do they rank and how do they rate? Well, I'm proud to say that McAllen ISD is an A-rated school district. So if you, if you look at that as a selling point, when you send your child to our schools, we're going to put them in a position to excel. 
And I'm also proud to say that we don't, we don't only focus on academics. And that's another thing that individuals and families need to look at is that we also focus on raising the child's emotional quotient. So we're very big on emotional intelligence and it's worked into our curriculum as well. So as we're teaching kids the core subjects, we're also teaching them the importance of self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. So that on the back end, they're book smart and people smart. So that's other things that the families need to look at is, is there a social emotional learning component within the district? And I'm proud to say that in McAllen ISD, there is. Those are two components that are very important. On top of that, there's the extracurricular aspect of what does the district offer? And in McAllen ISD, we're a high performing district academically, but we also have the universe of all possibilities when it comes to athletics. So a lot of families have kids that have been playing club ball growing up and they can continue on that trajectory in middle school and high school sports. And we also have an elementary component where kids can start to compete in an elevate program where they start to, to really hone in on their skills. So we hit on the academic, we hit on the social emotional learning, we hit on the athletic side. We also have a fine arts program that's second to none. We've been identified as the best community in music education for nine straight years. So if you look at the level of proficiency with regard to the fine arts, we're second to none. So as you're selling homes and if you're, as you're talking to families, even if it's not in the McAllen ISD zone, we're an open enrollment district. So you may be selling a home in Sherryland or in Edinburgh or in PSJA, and you can say, I know about a district that's A-rated. I know about a district that earned the post-secondary readiness distinction for three years in a row and earned a perfect score on the financial integrity rating system of Texas. And just to put that into context, if you look at school districts with 20,000 students or more, there's only three school districts in the entire great state of Texas that have earned the A, the post-secondary readiness distinction, because that takes it beyond letter grades and its graduation rates, dropout rates, SAT performance, ACT performance, graduation pathways, college hours earned. That's how you get the post-secondary readiness distinction and the financial integrity. There's only three school districts with 20,000 students or more that have earned those distinctions. And McAllen ISD is one of them. So you talk about selling points and you talk about giving people a pathway to put their children on a trajectory to, meet, to reach their full potential. Then McAllen ISD is by far the best choice. And you could say with all the confidence in the world that you're gonna send them to a, to a top school district. As a matter of fact, just the uh, just two days ago, I was informed that all five of our high schools were ranked by U.S. News and World Report as top high schools in the nation. So that's that's facts. That's not my opinion. And I think that as a realtor, when you're talking to families, if you could share those types of things with them, and even if they wanted to meet with me, or if they wanted to meet with somebody on my team, or if they wanted a tour of a campus, then you can reach out to me. And I'd be more than willing to help you. So it's this partnership where you're trying to sell a home or rent a home or help somebody buy a home. And I'm here to support you and the district's here to support you. And we have a long list of accolades and a long list of success and 113 years of history that can help you and ultimately help that family. We're also in the process of telling our story. And I did wanna just give you a glimpse. I have a couple of short videos. I have two, two one minute videos and, and one captures the essence of, it was during Super Bowl. And what we're trying to do is, is capture the hearts of parents to let them know that, that we all, you know, if you have children, you remember that day when, when you were at the doctor's office and you heard the heartbeat for the first time and you got that, those butterflies in your stomach and you're thinking, oh my, you know, what, what am I gonna do? And, and how is this going to be? And so, so this commercial starts with that. It starts with a heartbeat and it kind of works all the way through. And, and we're telling the story that, that we're in a position to, as, as people that are in the dream business and you know, we're entrepreneurs of the human spirit, but we're gonna take your gift from God, your most precious gift from God, and we're gonna put them in a position to excel. So that's what this first commercial talks about in a nutshell. It's one minute. So Jake, would you please share that? Yes, sir. Are you guys able to see my screen? Yes. All right, here we go. This is the wow moment that first captures your heart. And now, for the rest of your life, it bursts with a deep-seated need to give your child every advantage. As a parent, 
life comes at you fast. So many decisions to make and so many choices. McAllen ISD is the right choice, offering so much more. We're in the dream business, entrepreneurs of the human spirit, committed to offering your child a world of possibilities and then doing everything that we can to make them come true. We work hard to make your child incredibly strong, book smart, people smart, positive forces in our community and financially secure. It all goes to the heart of the parent, fleeting decisions and moments that are gone in an instant. It's raw, it's real. You want the very best for your child and so we're here for you with the very best programs and the best people and with the credentials to prove it. We're about giving your child every advantage, the McAllen ISD advantage. So the essence of that story is based on what we know we can do. And we have all the confidence in the world that we can take people's children and we can put them in a position to reach their full potential academically, socially, and emotionally in an environment that's safe and that's care-based. And although we have 150,000 people in our community, when you come to our district, it has a small town feel and that we're very proud of that. So that commercial told that story. The next short commercial that I'd like to share is we have an app. And I'd like, to, I'd like to share the app or, or at least have you view the app at some point down the road so that that would be one where if you have a client and they wanna know about McAllen ISD, we have everything McAllen ISD in the app store. You go to it and it'll take you to all our campuses. It has videos, it has news, it has all the cool stuff that's going on across the district. And we wanted to find a cool way to let people know that no matter what, no matter where you are and no matter what you're doing, you can have McAllen ISD just one click away. So this is a cool video. We're proud of this one. It took a lot of work and we were hoping that it would capture people's attention and then inspire them to download the app and learn about our district. So check this one out. Wherever you go and whatever you do, be connected to McAllen ISD. That's that's something that y'all could share with your clients also. As as people want to know more about a district, you say they have an app. Check it out. Download it. You can even go check out this cool video that they have that, that highlights that. And I think that when people start to see those things, and if they go to our Facebook page and they go and they check out our social media presence, it's solid. Uh, this that one video on the heartbeat has 148,000 views. So that that's that's big. And this last one that you just saw on the app has 28,000 views in one week. So you talk about the reach that we have, it's impressive. So when you go out and you talk to people and you want to leverage our social media platforms, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're all over it. So we're on the cutting edge of that too. So that helps you. So you don't have to know the whole story. You can point them in a direction where you want them to be. But I did want to emphasize that McAllen ISD is here for you all. I know that the, the Greater McAllen Association of Realtors got their heart in the right place. And I know that you're trying to put families in a position to excel and school districts are a big part of that. And I'm here to tell you that when you recommend McAllen ISD as a district of choice, that you will not go wrong. And I'm here to support you. I would like to close with once again, thanking you for just being great people. And then also invite you to also look at the rgv.education. If you go to rgv.education, then you'd be able to kind of get a glance at that page and, and this page here. And that, that's one where you can just say, hey, go to rgv.education and you can learn about the district. 
You can say, I know the superintendent. He'd be willing to meet with you. He'd be willing to give you a tour. He could set you up with a tour. I'm just trying to put our district in a position where, where we're able to give people the McAllen ISD advantage because I, I believe in this with my whole heart. I have a first, second, and third grader that attend the district. My wife's a fifth grade teacher in the district, and I've been here for 26 years. So it's a family affair. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very special thing going on, and I'd love you all to be a part of it. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Gonzalez. That was, that was incredible. Um, yes, yes. Uh, very, very good. Well, um, <laughs> trying to come down from that. That's, that's really <laughs> incredible. Um, oh, well, let's go on uh, now to the, the next item on our agenda is uh, Women's Council of Realtors. And let me introduce you to Terry Sipe. She is the president of the local chapter of the Women's Council of Realtors. Uh, Terry, take it away. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. And Mr. Gonzalez, that video uh, just had me so emotional. I have uh, three adult children. Uh, my oldest is 25 and my baby is 19. So that just took me way back. Okay, so anyhow, let me regain my composure and my emotions. Um, so thank you again for having me here, uh, Ms. Monica. Um, I'm here to talk about what's happening with Women's Council of Realtors. Uh, I'm excited to say that uh, we have new members and we're planning a breakfast with the board. Uh, we're, we're planning a um, membership orientation, which we will have in person. We will also be streaming that via Zoom and through our social media outlets. So please stay tuned. We're working on those details. And I'm even more excited uh, to say that we are wanting to bring down the Texas president, Miss Peggy Pentecost, down to the Rio Grande Valley. So say the date, May 20th. Uh, we will be having that event at Rio Bank. So that is our, our general membership meeting. And I'm encouraging any uh, non-members who have never attended any of our events to please participate in this event. Uh, we are still following the CDC guidelines because we are still in the middle of the pandemic. We're gonna be uh, enforcing the social distancing bracelets. We are going to keep it to a minimum. So we will be posting that uh, through our social media outlets as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about the membership orientation because I do get you know personal questions. You know, What is the Radius app? you know, um, how do I do this? You know, what are the benefits? So I will be there to answer any of your questions. Um, you're thinking of joining Women's Council of Realtors, uh, please log on to www.wcr.org. Click on McAllen Network. Uh, I'm telling you where uh, McAllen is making some noise. I'm getting calls from, you know, the uh, liaison from Houston. I mean, people are noticing us down here in the RGV and I'm proud to say that. And I thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Terry. Uh, great report. Um, now I'm going to go on to uh, committee reports. Our first is the budget committee. Uh, Dindia. Good morning, everyone, and thank you. And thanks, everyone, for your patience again. Great. Thank you so much for being here, everybody, and starting an awesome day with us. So the budget committee report, let me just find my notes here. We had a great productive meeting. We were able to recap the financial report and approve the minutes from last month's meeting. We covered the education class activity, reviewed our MLS vendors, and also looked over at our CD maturities. Um, we also took a close look at our March financial statements with no questions or concerns in reference to that from the committee. And then we also made a decision uh, we will be making a recommendation in reference to our investment policy. This is something that has been discussed and researched for many years, and I'm happy to report that we're finally moving closer to that uh, alongside of our strategic growth plan, which is coming in very nicely. So we are going to be making a recommendation to the board uh, to review and have a consultant come in. And so that is uh, coming very soon. And we also were very excited to have three members step up from our committee who will form a task force to ensure that we have questions ready for our consultant, that we're uh, following along with their information, with their guidance to see if this, would be, if this person would be selected. Um, I don't know how much information I can give out. So we'll make that recommendation to the board and see how that goes. But again, very productive meeting. And again, I thank you all this morning. Thank you for allowing me to be here. 
Thank you, Dindia. That was a good report. Uh, next up is our Diversity and Inclusion Committee, uh, Chairman uh, Missy Cardenas. Good morning and happy Thursday. So we've had a whole lot of stuff happen with DEI, the Diversity uh, Committee, um, both at the local, not both, all at local level, state level, and national level. This is April. April is the um, um, Fair Housing um, Month. Um, and so there's a lot of activities happening. Um, I'll start off with the, the big picture. We have Fair Haven. If you go to uh, log on to your NAR um, account and just type in Fair Haven, it will give you the direct link to see if you can sell four houses in Fair Haven. I challenge each and every one of you to do this. Um, if you can beat me, it took me an hour and 15 minutes, I will give you a Starbucks card personally. So please, this is a game. Um, and really the winners are gonna be our clients and our communities if we continue to play this game. There was so much to learn and it took me a long time to finish this because I really took the time to look at each different scenario um, and see from each different perspective how each entity looks at what happens in the way that we do things as realtors. Um, if you uh, have the ability to um, collect a couple of initials after your name, highly recommend you get at home with diversity. Uh, congratulations, Monica. I just saw that you uh, just accomplished yours. I did mine last year. It was, yes, <laughs> it, um, it is a really, really great uh, certification um, that you can that you can do it. I did it an hour. Oh, okay, eight minutes. All right. An hour and eight minutes. All right, fine. You get that too. Um, I'm reading the chat bar that I was beat once again. You know, I, I hope each one of you beat me, honestly. Um, at Home with Diversity um, is a great certification to get. Uh, I highly recommend that every single one of you do this. At the local level, we are working um, fast and furiously. Get this. We are um, trying to knock down Bill Deadman. Um, if you do not know who he is, he's a, I have to get my, my notes out, just like how Lee was reading um, the introduction for Dr. Gonzalez. He is a Pulitzer Prize winner, a number one best-selling author, the lead reporter of Newsday's three-year investigation for Long Island Divided. Y'all know that um, the documentary that was done, Testing the Divide, he was the main person in it. Um, we are trying to make sure that we can get him down here to speak to us. Um, I'm also working regionally because this is such a huge event to see if we can also work with Harlingen and some of our sister um, organizations or associations down here because it's not just about educating us but also those real realtors that we work with at the regional level. If we all rise together, that just means that our community is gonna benefit even more. So we are working fast and furiously at the same time. We do have today, tomorrow, sorry, this is the third day of Rebar. You can catch Matt DeFanis, who is one of my big mentors with DEI. Um, you can catch him at noontime today at the closing of Rebar. There is still time to register and uh, listen to him speak. If you have had to retake your ethics just recently, he is the big reasoning why we have had to update all of our contracts. Um, so I do highly, um, I keep him on a, a big pedestal. Um, I see everything that he's done and how he has changed um, a lot of our perspectives and a lot of the way that we do things and implement things. So highly recommend that you follow him, listen to him, and see if we can incorporate some of the things that we have down here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I always get that feedback. But down here in the Valley, we don't have to deal with all of this discrimination. We're not like everybody else. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But we are growing. And a lot of times we are not um, able to see our own biases. And this is why it's so important to go in and take these um, self-analysis tests so that we can be able to see what it is that we can do to help um, and um, 
it's it's eye opening. I've done it myself. I didn't think that I was prejudiced, not that I am, but it helps me to realize my own biases. And that's something that we all need to work on. Um, and that's it. I think we've got uh, Fairhaven uh, at home with diversity. Oh, and NARREP just came out with their new report. It just came out yesterday. I will go ahead and post the entire report on GMAR Connect so that everyone can see it. We all know that we have um, um, a deficiency in the number of, uh, of you know, homes that are available. Now, the big topic is the number of affordable homes um, that are ava available to our clients. And right now, because the Valley is one of the, um, um, the poorest MSAs in the nation, affordability of homes is a huge topic and something that we all need to be kept abreast on. So I will go ahead and I will post that report later on today in GMAR Connect. And that's it. Hope you guys have a great Thursday. Awesome, Missy. Thank you so much. I guess really you probably ought to go buy yourself a bunch of uh, Starbucks cards because you've got to, you're going to have to hand those out, it looks like. Anyway, uh, by the way, Hit Bearhaven I found to be also very, very good as well. And uh, mainly because of uh, Missy's uh, urging did I actually even do it. So thanks, Missy, for uh, bringing that to our attention. Next up is the Education Committee. Uh, Chairman Monica Rodriguez, uh, you're up. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for allowing me to be here today. Uh, your 2021 Education Committee is excited to announce numerous classes for 2021. You can log on to GMAR on the website and be able to uh, look at all the courses that are available currently. Uh, they also have a button where you can register. Remember, GMAR uh, universities still allows payment plans if you're wanting to get any type of classes for your renewal. Uh, that being said, we are also proud to announce your CPIM course that's going to be taking place August 23rd through the 26th. You can also be able to register for that course and receive the base course that is allowed at this point. So uh, many numerous classes, super related about CPIM, first time ever base course allowed here in the Rio Grande Valley. So we're looking forward. Thank you, Monica, and uh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, GMAR has really excelled, and, and mostly because of our education committee. So uh, you make a you make up a big part of that. Next up is the MLS committee. Chairman David uh, Casares, as uh, Siri says to me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, Lee. Uh, well, MLS has been working um, diligently on a couple a couple things. The main thing is our listing data check checker task force. <clears throat> what we've been doing on the back end is um, trying to implement the, I guess, digital way to check all of our listing and listing data, uh, just making sure that all our information is accurate and up to date, uh, making sure we have you know, the proper uh, uh, classifications and descriptions on everything that we need within our system so that all of our agents uh, and, and brokers um, have everything at their disposal uh, as we syndicate to different websites and stuff like that. So making sure that every listing goes live without issue. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of, uh, of, of some work from our, our task force. Um, you're talking about going through you know, over 9,000 lines of data, uh, trying to rewrite rules and make sure that all that stuff is accurate. Uh, on top of that, we also have the uh, fines task force um, trying to work in conjunction with listing data checker so that we have our, um, our fines and fee schedules uh, uh, in, in uh, sync with our system so that the system can automatically check these things um, and keep everybody, uh, keep everybody uh, accurate and, and moving forward. You know, the, the purpose of the listing data checker and the fines task force is not to, uh, the purpose of the MLS is not to find each other. We're not here to make money. The, the, the MLS is a nonprofit entity. We're here to make sure that the data is accurate and secure. Uh, but there are times where we see information that might be a little bit more on the blatant side uh, that we need to make sure that we correct uh, so that everybody's working efficiently. Um, so we're, we're working on a lot of that uh, on the back end. It's going to take a while. We're still waiting on the DOJ and uh, NAR to finalize all of their 
clarification of, of the stuff that they've agreed on and how we can implement that into the MLS system so that everything's nice and fluid. Um, other than that, uh, we have, well, I'll give everybody a forewarning and also a kind of a, a disclaimer. Please go back and uh, reread your MLS rules uh, and regulations. Uh, we are, because of our inventory, uh, and just real quick glimpse into our inventory, where I think from what I'm seeing, we're looking at low as low as about a month and a half of inventory uh, to about about 3.5, 3.7 months of inventory. Some markets are a little bit higher, but that's pretty much the average of what we're looking at. In our local MSA, we're looking at about 2.8, 2.5 months of inventory. That's great. Uh, uh, that's great for sellers and buyers if you don't you know, really, really uh, pay attention to that because the interest rates are low. But what's happening is that we're seeing an uptick in uh, properties going on market and off market with zero days on market. Um, so, you know, fair warning guys, uh, it, we all have to abide by the rules and regulations that we all signed on. Um, so there is an uptick in properties that are going zero days on market and already, you know, under contract. So they're, they're, it's forcing the MLS, it's forcing not just here locally, but statewide, nation, nationwide to kind of revisit and look at things <clears throat> like the coming, so, coming soon policies, uh, the way the system checks for uh, advertising rules and stuff like that. So uh, just be aware of that. Um, we're here to cooperate with each other. We're here to work with each other as, as colleagues and friends. Um, but when the data starts getting a little skewed, we got to kind of look into it a little bit further. So um, heads up on that, guys. Uh, other than that, uh, we're moving forward. Um, some of this stuff, it's going to take a couple months, if not a year to a uh, year, year and a half to finalize everything because some of these things are at the disposal of the state and or national to try to get everything kind of in sync with all of the MLSs across across the nation. So um, we're working di diligently, Mr. President. Thank you, David. And yes, you are doing a great job. Uh, I don't know what we would do without David. Um, next up is uh, Sergio Adami. He's uh, chairman of the Political Affairs Committee. He's going to talk about legislative update and local elections. Sergio? Yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Jimmy R. Uh, in this political affairs report, I want to remind everyone that we're still in the legislative season and that Texas Realtors is still going strong and sending out weekly email updates as to what bills are being reviewed and what the implications may be. I encourage everyone to please go to Texas Realtors uh, to find out more. Also, I do want to report that GMAR has endorsed candidates in the ongoing elections in the city of McAllen. We do want to encourage everyone to go out and vote um, as early voting has already ended. Uh, this Saturday is election day, uh, May 1st. Please check your local district to find out where the voting location may be for you guys. And uh, we wanna wish all the candidates the best of luck. And that pretty much sums up my report here for today. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Thank you Sergio. Uh, next up is the PR committee, uh, Chairman uh, Clarissa Guerra. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, as far as the PR committee goes, we have a very um, involved and engaged group. Um, just recently, we helped out with the packing up of the tree pack bags. So it was neat to have them there and, and help out uh, the you know, tree pack committee. Um, we had a successful blood drive and uh, a lot of support from sponsors uh, who donated raffle prizes. So very happy about that. Um, we thank each and every one of those individuals. Um, we are currently uh, reviewing different opportunities to, to really give back to the community, serve our community, um, and not just McAllen, but other, other cities as well. And um, one of the things that we're working on right now, and I, I, if you are on GMAR Connect, we um, posted um, kind of feedback from realtors. We're trying to uh, initiate a realtor program uh, kind of like a discount or incentive program to where each individual would get a card or a scan code. We're still working on the details um, to really help small businesses in our communities. Um, and that's, I mean, hard to be wide. Uh, so if any, uh, if you all have friends with small businesses um, and want to, you know, send your information, please do so. I'm reaching out to these, uh, these, businesses and um, seeing if they'd like to partake in, in this realtor program. Uh, it's just a way for us to give back to the real estate uh, or the realtors really. And um, you know, when they pay their dues to kind of encourage them to go out to these uh, small businesses and, and kind of uh, really help out 
you know, with, with business, you know, a lot of them saw a drop in sales and they're all coming back on their feet. But um, if we can work together to strengthen the communities we built, um, I think it would be great for everybody. So um, definitely appreciate the support from GMAR, um, even Women's Council. We appreciate you all very much. So that sums it up. Awesome. Thank you, Clarissa. And thank you for all your hard work uh, and what you do for not only for GMAR, but for our community. Uh, and then finally, our last committee report is uh, on the TREPAC committee. Um, uh, Mac's not here today, so I'll give that report. Uh, top number one and only thing I really have to talk about is the fishing tournament. We are in full swing of the fishing tournament. Uh, Clarissa mentioned that they put together the swag bags yesterday. So today, between 2 and 7 p.m., you can pick up your swag bags if you're, uh, if you're a team on, with, if, you have, if you're one of the 57 teams um, that are going to be competing this weekend. You can pick up your swag bags again today between 2 and 7, um, and then tomorrow between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Um, I know that also during that time, you can uh, do your, your Calcutta buy-in. So we're doing Calcutta again this year, and I understand that that has um, uh, been a very big part of, of the fishing tournament as well. Uh, of course, we've got the three uh, categories, reds, trout, and flounder. And uh, there have been some uh, adjustments throughout uh, because of the freeze and so forth in terms of size and that. But those th that information is available for you here at GMAR. Um, again, Saturday, May 1st, is the, um, is the tournament itself. If you have a captain team, in other words, uh, one with a, 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 a captain, I don't know what, how to say whether registered or what a captain is, but I know that they're licensed. There we go. If you're, that you have a licensed captain on your team, uh, your weigh-in is between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you're in the amateur category, then your weigh-in is between 2 and 4 p.m. on Saturday. Again, we are quite excited to have uh, as many um, teams as we had a couple of years ago with 57 teams this year. And um, that, that ends my um, report for Tree Pack. I'm going to turn it over to Monica to close this out. She's got an announcement about Special Connect. And uh, it's not canceled, right, Lee? It, oh, yeah. Let me say this real quick. I noticed that on the GMAR Connect site, um, the last year's notice went up because last year we had to cancel. It ended up at the top, but we've corrected that, I believe. Mike, yeah, it has been corrected. So do not uh, think that it has been canceled. We are running full swing on this. Thank you, David. <laughs> well, thank you all. Um, and I have to say I am... A mama bird in here, just so proud of all my directors and, and all the work that's being done by the volunteers of the organization. And uh, I, I think all members should be very proud of, of all of y'all and your service to make doing the best that you can for, for them. Um, so today, I do want to remind everybody, I had posted it a couple of weeks ago, and I put up a reminder yesterday, uh, but today we have at 11 a.m., it's called Special Connect, Find Your Digital Voice for 2021 Real Estate Business, and the reason that this is, it matters is because they're going to be giving sort of a best practices you know, how to be smart on social media and how to protect yourself from any code of ethics violations. And the, the people that the panelists that we have put together with, uh, by the way, it's it, we're putting this together. I've organized and worked with like five or six other association executives. And we've been meeting to discuss and get the speakers and get everything ready for, for our membership. It is free for you. Please pre-register. It's just in a little while. Uh, but it's going to be a very important topic, and we're going to have some great presentations and speakers on the Special Connect. Um, and then I hope to see, you know, as many of you participating in the fishing tournament. And if you're not, make plans for next year. Special announcement will be that it will be taking place. I believe we have, we will be confirming and sending out a save the date for next year, but next year's fishing tournament should be April the 22nd and 23rd. It is the fourth weekend, the weekend after Good Friday um, in 2022, 4 22 How about that? Let's just, let's make it simple. Um, and I want to just wish everybody a great weekend. And again, there is so much going on at the association. And in the next couple of weeks, we will have legislative meetings taking place with our, uh, with National Association of Realtors. 
So I will be probably going like I did last year. And I know many of you were very happy that we did it is we went live with a lot of the um, Facebook live with a lot of the legislative presentations that were taking place. So we're gonna be trying to do that again. And I know that we have Sergio and Lee, myself, um, that we are all going to be participating in a lot more meetings and just what y'all are going to be seeing live. Um, again, more volunteers putting more time into serving and being aware of the issues that matter. Um, but that's all for me. Well, I tried to click it, there we go. Uh, well, that concludes our meeting. Uh, again, thank you everyone for participating. And then more importantly, as Monica said, all the hard work that you guys do um, for the association and for our community. Well, everybody have a good day. See you.